In the silent depths of every ocean lie the war-scarred wrecks of fighting ships, the honored dead of the Royal Navy. Yes, ships too die, and for the same causes which inspire those who die in them. For this dead ship and those others in which men served, we recall an episode one speaking for itself, yet speaking too for all who fought in the Royal and Merchant Navies. Time, 1942. Place, the Mediterranean. A group of ships together heavy with cargoes they were not designed to bear, sailing a route they were not built to follow, merchantmen and escort, a convoy, speed, the speed of the slowest. A constant watch on sea and sky, vigilance, the price of life. Watch and relief, each to his turn. Guns to test. Make and mend. Men on duty, men at rest. Eyes down for the full house. Two dots, 22. Legs, 11. All the sixes. Clickety click, three and five, 35. Merchantman and escort. The whole but a code name. Each ship but a number. A convoy. Destination, Malta. Nine two five hours. Sardinia, due north, seventy miles. Guns crews closed up. Hostile aircraft, red. Seven down shot, eleven probables. Up spirits. Visibility closing in. Attacks unabating. Wind and sea rising. But convoy maintaining headway. Nice weather for ducks and the geese to save Rome. Fifteen hundred hours. Making smoke. Report of e-boats out from Pantelleria. Escort taking no chances. Seventeen, fifteen hours. No e-boats, but plenty more ducks. Smoke obscuring targets, but gunners doing their best.
2,200 hours and the last night before Malta. Stumps drawn with Stukas, but not with high levelers. Something burning on the horizon. Afraid it's one of ours, but no time to investigate. Oh, 0600 hours. Dawn. Enemy still at it, but breaking off. Presume night boy is homing for breakfast. Nice morning. Further outlook, unsettled. Oh, 0715 hours. Investigating U boat contact. Destroyers dealing with same. Too near destination to take chances. Convoy taking avoiding action and escort rounding up stragglers. Warning of aircraft. The Luftwaffe are clocking in for the last shift. This'll be it. Thirty hours. The biggest party yet. Twenty-one certain. Eighteen probables. But enemy not the only casualties. Pressing on. Must hand it to him. Query. Wonder if Admiralty have ever specified the exact detonation point of seawater. <laughs> oh, 0930 hours. Last round and all out. Particular attention being paid to carriers. But such comparison, purely relative. This is the bloody limit.
A group of ships together. Merchantmen and escort. Speed, the speed of the slowest. Men on duty, men at rest. Watch and relief. The whole but a code name. Each ship but a number. A convoy. Its cargo, the fate of an island. This is the BBC Home and Forces program. Here is the news, and this is John Snag reading it. The Admiralty have announced the arrival of another convoy in Malta. This is the second convoy to reach the beleaguered George Cross Islands since June last. It is understood that some losses in merchantmen and naval craft were suffered in the operation. Enemy losses were two U-boats sunk, at least two E-boats destroyed, and at least 66 aircraft shot down. All ships are unloading without delay. Food for 270,000 people down to their last ounce. Ammunition and replacements for guns which have fired through 3,000 alerts. Petrol for Spitfires. Bombs and torpedoes. Thus Malta, that other seagirt island, maintained by the Royal Navy, Turn defense into attack, defeat into ultimate victory. <laughs> 